Uh, okay, let's do this. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. It is 7 a.m. It was actually 6.30, 30 minutes ago. <laughs> That's a great way to start. This morning, I'm on my way to San Diego. Gonna hang out there for... Well, a day, then go to Palm Springs for two days, then off to LA. Should be a good time. I'm going with the NFL or NFL Canada to watch a football game. The LA Chargers, baby. This is my morning routine, by the way. One hard boiled egg keeps you strong, you know? Of course, I packed last night. I don't know if I did a good enough job, but we'll figure out when we get to San Diego. I gotta eat and then, then go. Bye. San Diego, baby. We got our rental car. We got a convertible, and this is by far the smallest freaking. I knew it was gonna be small, but we're going through the desert, and I wanted to get like a sick convertible. Why not? The issues are. <laughs> this is my suitcase right here. Trunk is literally. Oh my god. How the size of a potato. It? We're gonna put the roof down. Shades on, which means shades on, but like shades on. Carbs down. <laughs> What? <laughs> What's extra cargo shade? What the hell does that mean? What does it say? Extend cargo shade to operate top. How do you do that? Extend cargo shade to operate top. <laughs> this is why we don't have a convertible. Yeah, What's a cargo shade? What the hell is that, man? Oh, maybe it's in the trunk. Hi, OnStar? <laughs> I don't know how to open up There's the no way it's in the trunk. I think so, man. Did it work? I didn't see a cargo shade. Oh shit, are you serious? Yeah, there was, it didn't look like there was anything there. YouTube this? Yeah, yeah, let's turn the air on. Oh my god, there's like nine books in here. 2019 Camaros. Holy shit, that's how small the truck has to be. Are you kidding me? We're f <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, let's go look, let's go look. We're f Boom, and then boom, like that. It goes down into there. Look at that. How? How does oh, it go this down? is where our, our yeah. luggage yeah, goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, that's all. That right there, folks. <laughs> the 2019 Camaro trunk. God. <laughs> Take two. Good lord. You got like an ab workout <laughs> driving this car already. Here we go. <laughs> our big moment. Watch it not work. <laughs> oh, oh, it's happening. <laughs> we gotta hold it, I think, though. There it is. Oh, yeah. No. Look at this thing. A legit transformer. There you go. Oh, baby. This is Jeremy's first time in San Diego. Yeah. Hotel tonight is actually over on Coronado. Downtown San Diego, there's like an island on the other side. That's where we're going. But it's beautiful, man. Jeremy, what do you think? Beautiful weather. Looks real cool. Like, nice visual place. I'm liking it so far. Camaro's a little cramped compared to the Mustang, but not bad, you know? The Camaro is very cramped. We can do it. God, I remember these roads, man. Dog beach. Literally one of many beaches here in San Diego that's allowed dogs on it. I brought Charlie here all the time. One of the many things that I love about San Diego is that they have things like this. Like, look, there's there's so much beach here that they dedicated one just to dogs. Jeremy's the only guy here wearing <laughs> leather shoes. Yeah, you know what I mean? You're like Peter Pan. Style over comfort? Yeah. This is really awesome. Are you a dog guy, by the way? I am. I like Well, I like all kinds of animals, man. Dogs, cats, kangaroos. You a dog, cat, the kangaroo next. Yeah. <laughs> no one has a domesticated kangaroo. I know, man, but there's this awesome sanctuary in Australia I want to go to where it's like a kangaroo sanctuary. We're only in San Diego for one day, by the way, because tomorrow morning we're heading to Palm Springs. I'm trying to hit all the spots I used to come to with Charlie all the time. Next stop, our <laughs> hotel. Oh, wow. Come with a nice hallway and some sliding doors. Are you kidding me? With a king size bed. Oh shit. <laughs> and we have a door that leads to a bathroom. This is a great mirror for doing a mustache check, which we'll be doing lots of. Isn't that right, Jeremy? Wee oui, wee, oui, mon ami. That's right. The, the bath toilet. <laughs> the bath toilet? <laughs> We have the bass poolet right there. <laughs> we have the shower. The shower. Comes with a baby bell piece of cheese. Look at this. I'd 100% eat this. I don't know actually. And then come through this way. the clears for that one. Back in the main hallway foyer slash entrance walkway. We have this big mirror, perfect for taking selfies. Isn't that right, Jeremy? Bonjour, mon ami. No, it's wee oui, wee, oui, mon ami. Oh yeah, right, right, right. The living room. 
Jeremy, I'm giving Jeremy the king size bed because it's his first time in California and I want him to have a great experience. I'm taking the couch, but that's okay because Jeremy, I appreciate it. <laughs> I was wondering you were going to say that. <laughs> this is the spot. The plan is tomorrow we're going to head out at like maybe 9 a.m. to go to Palm Springs. Check out the desert life. That's really the main reason why we got the, the convertible. So we can drive through the desert with like the roof down and stuff. The whole journey is going live on Instagram at Danocracy if you guys follow there. It's currently 6.30 in the morning. I couldn't sleep. I don't know if you guys remember me saying this in this clip where I'm like, oh, I'll be a nice guy. I'm gonna give the bed to Jeremy. And holy shit, man. I woke up every hour and a half. That mattress was a joke. It was like an S. Killed my lower back. But the flip side is I get to see like the sunset, which is cool, because we're only in San Diego for one day. Jeremy's still sleeping, actually. I'd say in about two hours, we're gonna head out and go to, head out to Palm Springs. Basically, last time I was in San Diego, it wasn't like the best time for me. It was, I don't know, just a lot of things were changing and a lot of things were ending last time I was here. And it was a very stressful time. And I kind of left this city with this mentality of just like, I don't know, just like not happy, you know? This time around, I made sure to make it like a special thing. I got a convertible, not because I wanted to flex on people, but because I needed to change up the experience. I thought that maybe getting a convertible would help with that. Hitting up Palm Springs for two days is gonna be fun. The idea is to make this a special trip for Jeremy as well. I got to take him to New York City for the first time. Came with me on a, I guess a brand partnership deal, but it was special for me because I got to show him that city for the first time. and. Now I'm gonna show him California for the first time, which is cool. So I'm just gonna enjoy the sunrise now and then maybe get something to eat. The whole reason why I'm down in California is because of NFL. Like NFL Canada is sending me to a game in LA and I had just asked if they could fly me down early, hang out here. But I got an email last night saying that they're giving us like a VIP experience at the Chargers game, which is amazing. So I, I don't know if we get to go on the field or what. Kind of gloomy though, like this is so not like San Diego, you know? This hotel actually isn't that bad. It's actually really nice. We could have spent more time here, to be honest, but Palm Springs is super unique. And Jeremy has this vibe about him that is like very Miami Vice. He loves the 80s. Even though like Palm Springs is more like mid-century, there's a lot of color. It's the desert. All right, look who's up. Yeah, there he the is. The guy who got the best sleep in town. Oh yeah. Halfway through the night, I'm like, I gotta fix this thing, man. My bed's collapsing. So I grabbed like the, the menu. And I tried to build like a support. Didn't work. So I'm like, okay, I gotta support the other side. Go to the other side, grab like the TVs. I looked for every magazine in this entire hotel room <laughs> to support that thing. Oh, by the way, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would see this before this. Let me pick a setting. What kind of setting do you think I should do? Fast to speed, man. We'll do a five. <laughs> Level five? Stash is coming alive, man. Oh yeah. It's coming out. Palm Springs ain't ready. That's a hell of a stash. Palm Springs ain't ready. Stash is complete. I think we are ready to go to Palm Springs. Hey. That's it for, oh, I should've gone the other way, shouldn't I? Yeah. I think so, yeah. That's it for San Diego. It's 9 a.m. We're heading to Palm Springs now. We're actually heading to this place called the Windmill Farm, which is a bunch of solar windmills. It's about two and a half hours away, so. We're just gonna enjoy the beautiful sun and just cruise, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I thought San Diego was a blast. Like, even though we're only here for what, a day if that, it was still still real nice. I don't know, real picturesque, exa like exactly what I expected. I expected it to be sick, you know? Earth angel, earth angel, the one I adore, love you forever and ever. in the middle of nowhere. God, you don't want to pop a tire though, eh? Think, uh, you think this is a road? Mountains to the right of us, desert to the left, and this is the, this is apparently the windmill farm, but we're not even on the road anymore. Like we turned off, now we're off like a beaten trail. Look at this. First off, let me preface this. Jeremy and I are on a mission to get to these windmills. I just took a random ass turn down like a dirt road and we're in a Camaro, which should not be like doing this. It looks like it's a one way and it's rocky as hell. Right or left? 
I'm committed to get that pick. It's banked like a NASCAR track. Yeah. It means we should go fast. <laughs> <laughs> this may be it. Yeah. This may be it. The Hills of Eyes, you ever seen yeah, that? Yeah, I have. This is, a, this is a scene from the Hills of Eyes. <laughs> perseverance and following a bunch of different roads we've managed to at least get a decent shot here of some windmills if you guys see this picture on my Instagram or Jeremy's you better friggin like it because this is commitment basically this whole entire journey started on uh, a Google search for like good photo spots in Palm Springs Palm Springs by the way is the most photogenic spot this is kind of the shot here it looks good eh? we're gonna try some pics guys See how it turns out. This is one street a Camaro should not be going down because of things like this. This is gonna make us bottom out. But all in the name of being an influencer, right? <laughs> oh yeah. What's up guys? I haven't checked in with you uh, since yesterday. Today we're heading off to Joshua Tree Park National Park, which is... The hell? Oh, it's the door. 7.30 right now, we're gonna grab breakfast, go to Joshua Tree National Park. I did say that a Shot and Forgot finale was going up today, but this trip is kind of like offset time for editing, so it's not going up today, which is Friday. Apparently Joshua Tree is supposed to be pretty cold, which is gonna suck, but that's okay. I'm dressed like a 1940s henchman. <laughs> I gotta get rid of this mustache. We got the tarp, tarp down, top down in the convertible, which should be nice. Jeremy's first time there, uh, should be a good day. We have about an hour's drive. The henchman looks oh, no. coming back, so might not Is be it? a bad. Yeah, I think so. From where? <laughs> I'll know. take it. <laughs> we just entered Joshua Tree Park. It's super windy. I don't know if you'll be able to hear any of this. There's valleys where this wind gets so so fast, so aggressive that it's not really the best day for a convertible. The plan today: hike around Joshua Tree Park, get some cool pics, go back to Palm Springs. Get some cool pits, baby. This place is huge, man. It's gonna take us two hours to drive through the entire park. It only took us one hour to get here. Right now we're in the desert part where a lot of dry stuff. Where we're about to go is 10 degrees colder because it's higher up, but we can get a good view of the valley. Tarps off, baby. Oh yeah. I wish I didn't have this mustache anymore. <laughs> it's like the vibe is totally ruined now. It works well with the brown sweater. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I got this like 70s sweater, like a, like a dad's. This place is so quiet. We've stopped. Listen to how quiet this place is, ready? Like, it is so quiet. Are totally by yourself. There's no cell phone service out here. Like, it sounds corny, but you in the open road. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. I just can't believe it. I want to stop every two seconds to film. And right now, I'm, I've already filled up my camera, so we're dumping the footage. There isn't any Joshua trees actually on this side of the park because it's lower. Oh, oh, Earth Angel. It's a little far though, do you want it closer? Yeah, you go closer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, folks. Okay. Is that better? Yeah, that's a lot better. Right? We're shooting a porn. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. It's me, Dan. I'm 27. <laughs> so tell me about yourself. <laughs> First off, I want to say, I bought these coconut cap. I should probably stop eating. <laughs> Wait, I can't show the camera what bear they are? I bought the. <laughs> <laughs> these are my favorite coconut. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had coconut cashews? <laughs> these are coconut cashews. They're like cashews covered in coconut. Who would have thought? <laughs> Today's our last day in Palm Springs. I get it, guys. Yesterday, we didn't really film all that much. We were in Joshua Tree, uh, just kind of enjoying it. It wasn't much to, like, content-wise, because Jeremy and I were fighting. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you're calling it, eh? So today... <laughs> today, today, we're going to get breakfast at Peabody's. Or as we like to call I swear to God, it's called Peabody. <laughs> oh my God, we gotta get some control here. Okay, so anyways, there I was. <laughs> we're gonna pack and we're gonna drive to LA. NFL Canada brought me and Jeremy down uh, for the whole LA experience. So we're heading out to LA now to start all that. This whole vlog has been totally chopped up and weird. My apologies. Again, I hate doing this, but if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen everything else we did. Like we went mini putting yesterday. <laughs> what, what else did we do? <laughs> 
Uh, we don't really have anything planned tonight. See you guys there. Actually, the temperature is kind of strange, I'll be honest, because like, it's nice and warm, and then we went into that one bridge, and then it was like cold in Toronto. <laughs> but it's, it's just really beautiful. Like, there was some guy driving a golf cart on the desert, which was cool. Yeah. But we just saw it drive by now. I just want to show you our car. Our car looks like it was... Uh, Attacked. Attacked by an octopus. It looks like someone was trying to escape <laughs> from our trunk. We have these. Okay, this is from suction cup mounts. There. We have it, uh, two up here. There's two, one, two, one here. More figure prints look like someone's trying to escape. This place essentially, is, it's sort of like the 60s frozen in time. The 60s, you grew up in them. Yeah, yeah. You moved to Palm Springs, and then it's like the 60s again. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no difference, you know? All right, I think we're almost there, Earth Angel. Did someone Earth say? Earth Angel. Earth Angel. Earth Angel. Will you be mine? Come on in. Okay, this is a... Uh... This is our hotel in Los Angeles. It's pretty nice. We get in here, there's like elves and villains and jokers hanging outside. <laughs> Comic-Con is on. So yeah, two beds. We got a bathroom right here. Come on in. Shower, tub, toilet, painting. You have this thing, which you can take off the wall if you want. And if it's too bright in here, push down. It goes all the way down. For some reason, this one's a little slower. <laughs> Weird, I almost feel like they should have a painting on this wall, eh? Also, I think this mustache might be going in this city. It looks fine in the mirror, but on camera, it doesn't look good. Maybe it's from my eye source, you know? Tomorrow we got a game, and I actually got an email saying we got a VIP thing, so we have to uh, go to the stadium early. I don't know what's happening tonight. I know this vlog is all over the place. The end of the trip has come. Big thank you to NFL Canada for uh, sending me and Jeremy down to Los Angeles, giving us this awesome hotel, tickets to the game, the VIP experience in the field. Mm -hmm. It's been sort of a disconnected experience vlog-wise. Like you guys have probably seen little snippets. We're heading back to Toronto today. Kind of sucks to go home to be honest because every time I travel, refreshing feeling that when I go, it's like, I'm kind of like away from my routine back home. When I go back, I feel refreshed, but then I know I'm gonna sink back into that, which sucks, so. I can see why travel and like vacations are essential to some people. Oh, I thought I thought it was a blast. Can't say enough thank yous. Uh, first NFL game was cool. LA was awesome. Palm Springs was great. San Diego was great. And I just I'm more of a big city guy than a smaller city guy. And not that Palm Springs is all that small, but see you guys later.